This is a sad day for America. It just is. Today I will be announcing this is the final episode of Vault Hunters. Season 1. Just season 1. I'd also like to announce that Steve Benetite will be running for U.S. Congress. This is a historic moment for the nation. As a completely unbiased news corporation, we are not endorsing Steve Benetite. It might seem like that, um, as I'm half the committee and the committee endorses Steve Benetite. And I just also happen to own this. So it's a little, it gets a little hairy there. But, uh, uh, I mean, a vote for Steve is a vote for Vaults at the end of the day. Thank you for being here. Karen, I've added to your, uh, uh, your beautification of the, uh, pathway. Nice. Sounds like you're trolling, but nice. It's not really a troll, because I think it's going to stay there. <laughs> Three of stuff from Ornates and Gilded is impossible. Yep, agree. <laughs> <laughs> Let's f***ing go, dude. Oh my god. I was literally thinking, I was like, we should Photoshop a sign for Steve Anatype. <laughs> You're the goat. Is that spelled right? Thank god. Yeah. It's, it looks so weird. I guess I've never really looked at it. Steve Anatype. Bennett Toit. Bennett. Oh. No, you spelled it wrong. It's different on the wiki, then. Yeah, on the wiki, it's Benny-o-tite. Wait, which one's right? What the hell? I don't know, but on the wiki, it's definitely benny o Bennett Toit and Bennett Toit. Yeah, these are both Bennett Toits. Well, I guess Steve had his first campaign scandal in that he spelled his name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're voting for him regardless. Still, still yeah. for him. <laughs> Steve Bennett <-tite. laughs> Uh, he's such a good guy at the end of the day. <laughs> oh, it's it's nice and big too this time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can you get your dust 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 out of the the uh, the fuzzler? Honestly, the Yokum just it's such a weird looking weapon. I don't like it. <laughs> Who's Steve Benetite running against? <laughs> Larry Laramar. <laughs> uh, technically, it was Osman Laramar, but. Osman oh. Laramar. That's exactly who I pictured Steve by the type to be. That is him, yeah. Have you seen the smaller signs? I am I'm excited to see them. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This PNG of this guy is so good. <laughs> Whoever that is. That's Steve. I wanna see. Show me Steve. You're just gonna have to see that at your front door. Yeah, I think it'll be it'll it'll you'll enjoy yeah it'll be it. better. We have to divide the we'll make Kevin Osman supporter. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, in all likelihood, it's probably that one villager who's still alive in the castle. <laughs> <laughs> the only voter for Osman Laramar. It's campaign season. I have such a surplus of uh vault equipment right now. What is Osman Laramar's slogan? Build a wall, destroy the portal. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the loot. <laughs> Secure our vaults. <laughs> <laughs> Declan, you put too much work into this. What the hell is this? <laughs> I mean, we were right. He had this in person. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait to see Osmond Laramar. <laughs> so much done. Well, Osmond Laramar does sound like he'd be a warlock. This just... photo will send you into the stratosphere. <laughs> We don't have a slogan yet. I'm waiting for someone to. I, we have secure our vaults. That's what I have right now. Bring back our picks! <laughs> Osmond Laramar for Congress. Stop the updates. <laughs> okay, that's gotta be it. Taylor <laughs> Jones is struggling writing this. <laughs> so Guys. This is even okay. I won't lie. This is an even better graphic design than the last one. That's really good. We might kill Matt. We just have to be aware. Can we make a campaign office? Oh my god. <laughs> Gee, this is what an SMP is about. Exactly. The deep lore. But someone's got to be supporting him. That's why I think it should be in the village. I I think that's really funny. Yeah. Is there one guy down there? There's literally one person in the castle. We'll, we'll put it somewhere on the castle, but facing us. <laughs> okay, I was way up, I got it. So one guy, we just ruined his life. 
<laughs> is this tall enough? Yeah, I think so. All right, I guess I, we should we, pass the chimney a little. We, we should see it from the path. Can you see it from the path? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Because we'll definitely see this. <laughs> you guys ready for this? <laughs> no, oh, no. I fell through. Hold on. All right, I'm here. Probably the Larimer supporter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> so good. I'll put one outside there. Main entrance. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta see it from the path. I, I oh, gotta, it's I, so good. I actually want to. I actually want to take a close up look at this shit. <laughs> He's got such a nice guy energy. <laughs> see, Benetai gives me um, like an upper middle class suburban. Um, yeah. Just all around all American guy. Yeah. Played football in high school. Do we make we likes to grill. It's Ohio <laughs> State. Just became a grandfather. His father was a welder. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it put up like seven Osmond signs. <laughs> All around the village. We have to make the campaign offices, dude. I don't know, I think Osmond's in the run for his life considering his entire base is gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not gone, they're just up the hill. Yeah, that's true, they seek other employment. <laughs> yeah, they were literally enslaved. <laughs> There'll be an entire episode dedicated to the election day. <laughs> we got B-roll of all everyone that's on the server voting. <laughs> There's one right here, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. One back there. <laughs> we should, uh... How do I say this? Relocate some people to this village. I, I was gonna say, I feel like the villagers should be back. Like, just once we don't really need... When it's a tied election, uh, the swing voters are influenced by the uh, promise of repairing their town. <laughs> we, should have, we should have one villager who's, who's a Steve supporter. Now we switch into our solo programming. I give an update on the status of this island that we're on, how Create is coming along, and also we run some solo vaults. I want to see how this flag looked on an actual image frame. I didn't. Like, it's obviously not transparent and... Uh, actually doesn't look I think I need to make it bigger because it doesn't actually look I think it like up it and it doesn't look good so I'll have to make the actual thing bigger and transparent obviously I, mean, I think it'll look pretty good I, I I personally really like this initially Declan sent me just the uh, green circle with a blue outline indicating this island which I thought was actually a pretty cool little uh emblem on our thing and I just added a little bit of you know, grass and water details to both of that, and then added a benetite gem. Um, but, I, you know, I like it. I think I might change it a bit. We were doing a lot of little things on the server that I wanted to clue you guys in on and actually be able to explain it because there's a, there was a lot of trial and error. Uh, this was what we were working on. We were just struggling trying to figure this out yesterday. So we made a second water wheel, pretty much just copied the uh, previous design over there. Um, these are both, I think. Uh... Oh, my God. Honestly, didn't even see that there. These are both, I believe, at, uh, yeah, 160, 160. And this is a very simple, this is ugly as hell, I know. Um, but this is a very simple uh, conveyor belt that these things place items onto the conveyor belt. This is a uh, press. We've needed a press for a lot of different objects. So all this does is just press the object under it. So like I could throw in, uh, I don't know if I have... See if we can find something real quick. Yeah, so we throw in this powdered obsidian. Well, uh, I'll, I'll go through the steps real quick. So we put the lava right there. I think this should suck it up. It's a little weird because I, it doesn't work well with small things like this. So I think if we... Oh, no, it did. Okay, so check that out. So, Oh, it sucked it all up. Look at that. So this has um, lava in it, right? It's got a thousand in it. So that we put this onto, I believe we put that onto here, and it pours this. Yep, it pours the lava out, so it uses a looks like half a bucket, and then we take this, and it says right on here what is next in the processing order. So we just put this into our press, and then process and press again. So this is a double pressed item. You can see that it's one third of the bar complete, um, and you can just literally throw it onto here. It comes down here. This will uh, press it. 
presses it once, it'll uh, throw it out this way. Like that. Obviously, you can put, we should make this so clean. Like, it, this can be completely automated, right? So, like, it can throw things down the line of command or whatever, uh, and then it can spit it out into a chest. Or if it needs to go to the press again, you could reroute it all the way back down the conveyor belt again, and uh, it all manually do that. But we haven't. <laughs> this is bare bones. We're just trying to understand the mod, right? So, press it again. And that makes our uh, sturdy sheet, which the reason we're even making these in the first place is for trains. You need a bunch of these for trains. Uh, so you can see that's, that's the train schedule. But if you take a look at, I believe it's train casing. Yeah, train casing, you need a sturdy sheet um, and a brass casing. So you can manually apply it. You just can put a brass casing on the ground and apply the sturdy sheet, making a train casing. And you need a ton of these for trains itself. And we're wanting to start to see if we can make some trains uh, and hook them up. So another thing we are working on is the windmill. Now, with Create Machines, um, the water wheel is kind of the lowest level initial power source. So you can see this is only generating 160, right? If you take a look at this, this is a windmill. This is kind of the next step. It was mildly expensive, a couple... I think like eight total black chromatic. I don't really remember. No, 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 it would have been more than, no, it was eight, because I think we needed two ingots. This has a kinetic stress capacity of 4,096, because each of these panels here will add on more to that. The reason we had to go to the windmill, well, we were failing one step at a time, pretty much, along the way of trying to make these train parts, and we realized that this, um, several of these machines, mainly this one right here, uh, just couldn't get enough power from the water wheel. At least we couldn't figure out how to give it enough power from the water wheel. So we wanted to get something with way more power and run it this way. So this is uh, operational. And then same thing, you can just branch off to many different machines. Um, and we needed this as well to have power. These, this is, I think this is like a medium power load. Same, same with that. We got those set up barely. Uh, we started to do some very basic uh, train building. Well you know get the get the initial parts all built we're gonna need just so much i got like this is just all of our stuff we were crafting we got some train tracks uh, i can show you how these look really quick uh, it's really really cool i'm really excited to use these i think if you do yeah so if you do this it shows you the pathway and it is kind of particular with how you do it like it can't be too steep you can't curve it too hard um so it would probably be like turn too sharp you see that so if you put it out here, maybe turn too sharp. See that there's a curve right there. It has to be gradual. I haven't really experimented with it, but so train tracks are essentially not even a hundred percent chance you can make them. It needs, I think, iron. No, it's layer mark chromatic iron. I think. Then you press that, and it makes train tra train tracks at like eighty percent chance or something like that. I don't re really remember. This match is gonna follow me around, just hovering like a hovering father. Additionally, Declan and I were going pretty hard on the interior. Declan's built like 90, I mean, he's built virtually 100% of the, uh, the the outside exterior. But uh, I, I started to actually help with the interior because I, I didn't really know his vision. And the last thing I like to do is like get involved in other people's builds if they don't ask um, or if they like, you know, have a plan. I don't, I don't really want to like try to sidetrack that plan. I'll always help if people don't know what to do. But we went pretty hard on the interior. I uh, got it all set up at least. Nothing's moved in yet. We have the rooms kind of planned out. He did the staircases. We were, we were struggling a bit to try to figure out the flow of this building, but um, there's a bunch of space. Like this is a pretty si sizable room to put some stuff in. Um, this one not as sizable, not as much wall space in here, but definitely you could fit some things in here. Uh, this staircase right here. This goes outside. Um, this way is going to be into our greenhouse area, so we'll have like various things planted in here. I don't know if it'll be aesthetic or maybe a little bit more utility. And by the way, if you can see the frame rate, like if, if it looks laggy, it is. I'm like down to 30 FPS in this area because there's just, we've established it's just Brennan's house because he's got 27 botany pots constantly growing things. If I go like 100 feet out that way, totally fine. But uh, yeah, looking, see like look right at his house. 28 FPS. That's directly at the botany pots. It's a little unfortunate. I mean, I'm not really blaming him because like, how, what are you going to do? Not play the game? I definitely miss my frames a bit. Uh, this is the part that was really stumping us. We didn't really know what to do about any of this, um, but we, we figured, honestly, we'll put an art gallery up here. So we'll put paintings on the walls or like image frames of stuff. 
It was a little tricky, but I think we honestly figured out a better flow for the place. This is a patio out here, and we'll fill that in. None of it's filled in, obviously, but I think it'll look really good once we fill in all of the uh, different rooms. Out here, I moved uh, the platform Brennan made for the target dummies out to this little thing because I think that just makes more sense. I mean, this is our vault center, right? So should have these somewhere. Um, I like them out here. It does continue upwards. Um, these staircases are a little goofy right now. Uh, we have to kind of fix that. That can't be like that. This is not a build that Declan just looked up. It got a little crazy with the dimensions because they didn't really, I mean, he, he didn't really think it out as much. That's what he said at least. Um, this is going to be an outside balcony. And then up here, we're going to have probably Steve Benetite's office because he needs an office to work out of. There is a bell tower, I believe. Yeah, so there's this top part right here as well um, with bells up there. I think we're just gonna make this look nice from the outside. I don't think there's gonna be anything in there, but that's kind of an update. Let's actually take a look at Austin's house because I, I finally like finished this little, I mean, this is just like a build I found because um, I really just wanted something simple. I didn't want to have to think out my own build. Let's see if he did anything here. Steve Benetite supporter, that's good. So yeah, I guess he just kind of did this. I can add a little bit of detail in here. I didn't finish the walls, I ran out of granite, but. It's looking okay, it's looking okay, it's not finished yet. I, I wanna add more up here too, but I honestly just had those other things to do. Uh, but the pathway's finished and whatnot. Now the last major thing that I wanted to just show you guys is the actual wizard tower because this is a very cool build. Um, Matt has a habit of following builds down to the exact block, so literally this is just a one-to-one -one copy of a build on YouTube, but hey, it's still super cool. And we can definitely fill this in too with stuff, but it's an actual awesome view from up here. It'll be a great view of all of our vault stuff there. And secondly, it'll be a great view of the theme park whenever we get around to building that. So let's uh, let's head on down there. Oh, by the way, I got a uh, trinket. Doesn't give me fall damage anymore. As long as I use it outside the vault, it, de it never degrades. If I use it inside the vault, you lose a charge per vault and there's only 10 charges. So this will be the grounds for our theme park. What's really cool about this island is A, it's a, almost a perfect island, right? I've already talked about that. But secondly, if you look right here, it is almost lined up exactly with the vault center basement where that would be like imagine the basement below vault center down here um it's almost lined up exactly with it so we'll probably make that's why we're trying to get into trains we'll probably make a little tramway from the basement like imagine like a true subway uh and it would come out this hill right here like in a an oval or a in a half circle tunnel and then it'd come right to the front gate of whatever big giant like <laughs> I don't want to say Disney Castle, a giant build like that that would make our own, uh, like kind of unique to the server. Uh, it'd probably be right here, and then we'd have like actual like rides and stuff in here. We'll have a zoo in here. We'll have a museum in here. Maybe an art gallery in here. Now, to be fair, this is a long way off. This is not the main objective that we're focusing on right now. The main objective is definitely getting the basement built in Vault Center, um, in Vault Tech, and then getting the train going and just getting trains going in general, and then because Kevin eventually will move to this mountain range right here. So we could actually run a train either starting here and going across. I don't know how it'd work out, but maybe here and here, or we run a train straight up here. I don't, I don't know. And then secondly, we, we wanted to run a train from either this end of the island or honestly out of the vault center all the way down down to here and then take a right and go to Scrap's house over here. I don't know what will be easiest. I don't think over an ocean is gonna be all that easy. You'll have to make the entire bridge that you lay the tracks upon. So that would be a little bit of effort, but I'm down to get the big team on it and do it. But that's essentially what we've been working with here. Pretty cool, it's, I'm, I'm pretty excited about kind of the, uh, the lore that we've been developing on the server last week. I think I'm gonna do a couple solo vaults, see if I can get to level 50 and I'll probably record those as well and uh, just kind of talk through them. Oh yeah, here's the amount of crystal, or the chipped vault rock that I have after using our create machines with uh, vault stone. Like it's it's infinite, so we'll never run out. Uh, we like I don't even think we could match the amount of chromatic iron with this. Oh, I, another thing I can bring up actually, is if you see, we have 22 knowledge points. So we're pretty much on the brink of getting refined storage for the team. Um, I think that'll be pretty awesome if we go for refined storage. We will need a uh, power mod of some sort. So we could get power, but that's like a very expensive. 
So I think we'll hold off on that and get iron generators, I think it is. I'm gonna actually only make one, cr wait, actually, let's see. I wanna see how far off I am. I am, ooh, 10K off. So if I complete a kill boss objective, I'll probably get it. Another thing I did complete off camera was all of our relics. Not all of them in the game, but all the ones that we could, we uh, actually could complete at the time. So I have uh, the Twitch relic here. I completed the minor relic a while ago. Um, and then I also made several other ones over here. I uh, made that one, got these, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And what those do, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, the first, where Vault Hunters 2, they added time to the vault timer. So you would get like, was it 30 seconds per uh, thing you had done? Relic you had done? Or is it a minute? I think it was 30 seconds. I think I have six complete. So if we have an extra three minutes, that would make sense. Uh, I think that that is what it does if we have an extra three minutes when we get in here, but we'll see. Um, let me check this. I need skeletons. I'm not really going to abandon that challenge. Armor's good. Picks like on its way out, but they're going to be redoing those in a bit. Uh, the uh, update seven hasn't happened yet, and that's where they're going to be reworking the vault pickaxes so i'm not too stressed about making another one until they till i see what they um release let's get in there huh man first vaults of the day always just tank so this happened once before it just start there we go for some reason it just really struggles to load in the vault and i have 20 yep i must have started with 28 minutes so it, it added exactly three minutes to our timer unfortunately 30 seconds have already run off because the game is loading but <laughs> oh did i go in with my oh, i went in with my uh thing that's all right. I used the charge of my, um, whatever you call it, but that's cool. Cause I, I won't take fall damage in this vault. So I can actually work with that. Oh, there's one right there. This is a good sign boys. And probably singular girl strategies for this. I still like to break. So this is actually cool. We can just do a little vein mine. Oh, I don't have my magnet. No, wait, where is my magnet? Ah, oh, that sucks. I made some really good magnets too. Um, and I forgot them. So this is what I like to do. I like to cover this area in water. We hit this. And we can kind of solo out who we want. We'll just hop up here. Seems really inconsistent in terms of how they get hits on you. It's like you have to be absolutely perfect in order to not get hit. Wait, what? What is this guy in? What? That is so whack, man. All right, got that. I think I'm just gonna dip, honestly. I don't really care to stay down here. I keep uh, getting ready to water bucket, but I realize that I don't have fall damage as fault, so I don't need to do that. <laughs> like, I, you know, the gilded might not have been worth it. I'll admit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to my shield. I shouldn't be, uh, I should definitely be playing solos with a shield. This is a huge waste of time, but gildeds are nice. Also, I got a bunch of skeletons, which is uh, good as well, because that's my challenge. Um, so we'll just... Nice, great. Mod box, that's good. Get some create things. Let's keep going. I don't think there's anything there, so... I know I could... I, I usually do hot swap to this while I'm running, and then I swap back to my shield, so I gotta just... Ooh, I'm gonna see if there's a... Ooh. So there's not a obelisk. Oh, we do have an obby up here. All right, so let's, uh, let's at least prepare this. I mean, we can take another couple minutes looting and stuff because we have extra three minutes from our relics. So it's not like all bad, but... Or I'm gonna go for this guy first. I personally like to get the crosswoman handled. A, because they're weak, but B, obviously they're ranged. So it gets a little bit harder. Nice, and then we have one more over here. Oh shit, look at this. Uh, is there a spawner down there or was, oh my, I have trapped, don't I? I? I did, okay, that makes so much sense. I didn't actually look at that beforehand. Why is there only one chest down here? Two out of six. We are going to have to really stuff up these. Oh, nice. Nice. That's what I needed. This is always worth looting. Oh my god. It's not worth looting. What am I talking about? We're actually just going to make them not be able to come up. 
quickly do this. I'm going to just quickly do that. So I block that. Don't have to worry about it. Why do I keep doing it? Okay, this is good. This is good. So these guys are going to struggle to get in this way. There's one guy back there, which is not good, actually. So you can kind of cheese them with water. It's... I wonder if they're going to ever adjust this. And there's a bunch of ways. Like, if it's not water, I could just f figure out a new way to, to cheese it. So it's really not a big problem. I have tried my cobweb strategy, and that works decently well as well. But uh, not as good as water. So there's really no point. They still get hits on you every once in a while. I think crouching sometimes really helps. Alright, cool. Just keep it moving. Our man is doing okay. I'm really hoping for another back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back here. I think that I think if the game thinks you're touching uh, any block when you super jump or mega jump, it just negates that completely. I'm still looking for skeletons because I, that is my challenge, but there's nothing in this room, so we just quickly uh, go to the next room. The last Avi is an eight, which means we really don't want to have time expire. That's ornate up there, but honestly, I'm gonna go for a completion over anything here. Perfect. That's what I wanted to happen. You have a very good chance of spawning skeletons at, uh... Oh! Sweet. At, like, gilded locations. Or, like, coin locations, so... See anything here? I'm gonna skip the, the ornate up in that corner. Oh, there's living in that corner. Whatever. I, I can hit it on the way back if, uh... I need to. If I need to escape this. I should be able to complete this one. Oh, here we go, here we go. This is a very interesting obby. I think, uh, we're gonna have... Oh. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, this is interesting. This is a little problematic. Alright, let's keep moving. Two more. We got plenty of time here. We actually hit the edge. That's crazy. I'm gonna go south one. This should be the one that you hop up in the middle to get to. I think. Just gonna see if there's anything up here. A living chest trapped and that's the only problem is the loot is so shit because of the traps oh black opal over here i mean you need to get that nice little pocket there I'm gonna just keep it moving. It's not really worth getting caught up here. It's getting a little, I mean, 11 minutes is totally fine. I just don't like, you know, obviously you complete it faster, the better loot you get from the bounty crate, the boss crate. I would like it not to get too close so I can, I don't have to make the decision. Should I, uh, should I head back or complete? Like that's always a scary situation. Oh, we got one up here, perfect. Like this, turn around for a little bit more there. Uh, we're gonna actually deal with that in a second. Oh, we got blessed. Just gotta kill this guy. And that's exactly why I do that stuff. So, not only can the uh, the guys that spawn in there not come out, sometimes you get the spawns in there, like we've had in two of these, and it makes it really easy, because you can just come in here and literally place some UHC foot trap. It's gonna spawn here. Yeah. I don't really think it's worth it, honestly. I'm just gonna keep going. Eight minutes, you can get really unlucky on obbies, so it's just, it's seriously not worth. Uh, I'm gonna actually head back towards the portal. We can head back towards the portal without any repercussions, because we're not only checking the rooms on the way back, but we're also, you know, moving towards the exit in case we have to bail. Can't actually heal, so we're just gonna keep moving. I don't see a portal there, or an obby. Chromatic iron room. I don't think they can even be in here. I've never seen an objective in here. I'm pretty sure it's impossible, much like the other rooms. Seven minutes, man. It's getting a little dicey here. This last one's an eight too, so it's another reason why I don't really want to cut it that close. Because if you get bad spawns on one and they like fall down below and you have to go chase these guys down, that adds on minutes at a time. I really need the XP too, because it was trapped, so I'm not going to get a lot of XP off of uh, looting. Okay, here we go, here we go, perfect. Get some water in here. Bunch of scumbags. Well, uh, honestly, we'll just do this real quick. 
Uh, get some more reinforced water there. This this is a little dangerous. Okay, there we go. So it gets a little dicey when you can't really control. Oh my god. I just need to get one of these guys. Yeah, there we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this guy nice and low here. Alright. Then we can actually come over here and loot this. Little scumbags chasing me. Look at that. Pick up a little bit of extra loot on their way out. Oops. Uh, get a little of that and we're good to go. Sweet. That's like, uh, like a couple hundred more XP right at the end there, actually. Yep. That is exactly what I was looking for. 10k plus. This should, uh, I think this will be either at a level or just short. I think it's just short. Oh, it's just at. Let's go. Perfect. This is my favorite part at the end when you get to just see what you get. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. That's great. That's a good backup pair of boots when these go down. I lose a couple armor, but we can re-roll these into pretty much equivalent boots. Let's see what we get here. Oh, got some relics. Got a blank. That's nice. Okay. Okay, that's pretty trash. I'll be incinerated. Um, I mean, it's not my second best weapon, to be honest. Oh, maybe, maybe it is. Wait, really? No, that doesn't make sense. I swear to God, I had a good backup sword. Uh, quickly roll these. I don't really even know what I need. Oh, that's right. I have an axe that I'll be rolling out. Right. Secondly, take these off because I, I just blundered again. And there's my magnets. That would have helped a lot. I wanted the treasure magnet. <laughs> All right, let's do. Uh, let's get this next crystal popped out here. It should be 49. Yeah, 49. It's when you pop it out. So that's why I didn't do that. I calculated perfectly. We are close to our skeletons. We got not that many, to be honest. If if I had not a monolith one, I might have been able to complete that. If I had a scav, I think I could complete this, just because you're going for chests. So do this. Boom. Go right into the second one. Okay, this is a scav. Uh, it's doable. It's going to be really hard, though. The jars are not that bad. The scrolls have screwed me, honestly. Uh, rip pages and blood vials will be doable. So I would love to complete this. This would give a lot of XP, but you never know how, how the breakdown goes. So on a positive, we should be able to complete our bounty, which nets us a couple thousand. Now we have the magnet. This is going to be great. Watch this. I just uh, stand up here. Hit that, boom, comes to me, I'm out of here. Don't even need to fight those guys, screw them. My strategy for um, scavs, by the way, typically I start with the, like, the common chests and work from there. Obviously, if I won't pass up the other ones, but I don't seek them out yet. So I'll, I'll just continue to f harvest all of the common chests that are easy for me to get to. And then like, for example, in this room, there's the upstairs is hard to get to, so I'm just gonna leave. Like I'm just gonna, Fight out, run away. Uh, I'm gonna go across from the portal to make it easy. So I'm just gonna leave, go to the next room. Hopefully it's easier, it is. And uh, that's how we do it. And we can just come in here, boom, do that. It's unfortunate, but. So I don't go for chests like that, but I will go for chests up here. We can just, it's so easy to stand back and just mine. And then we can just kind of scoot up here. Just get a turn in here. How are we looking? We have uh, only one rip page right now. Pretty bad. I saw another rip page. I saw another rip page. Uh, now, now this is, I forgot I don't have the trinket on. Okay, ornate. Good, good, good. All right, so there's a jar. This is big. That's huge getting an early jar. Uh, we got a second jar. Wow, okay. Mana, sure, I'll do that. Oh, double skeleton. I hate, I honestly hate race so much. Got one vial. Got two vial. Didn't get our third vial, it's okay though. There is a, oh, here, hold on. You might be able to fight in here. Sometimes these little hallways are absolutely not worth it though. So we'll see, but. Oh, 
Yep, see that's why you can just get clapped out. I'm just gonna not do that. Fighting my way in there would take another minute or two. And it's just something that is just not worth doing usually in runs like this. So maybe in a duo it's worth it, but honestly, rooms like that are just super sketch. So I, I usually just store the things I don't need in here. I don't need that, don't need that. We do need these three. Uh, we just keep going. Okay, we got six pages, this is good. I'm moving right now, this is good. Just quickly hit a heal before you hit one of those. Maximize the mana. Oh, more ornates here, this is good. Fantastic, actually. Get our last jar, we didn't, we got a sack. Uh, we can just finally store some stuff too, which is nice. Uh, get that. We got our last jar. So then we'll just go for another store really quick. Uh, those, boom. Keep it moving. You got You just gotta move as fast as you can to save time. So we're gonna just turn in our jars right now. Um, easiest thing to do. We'll turn in those as well. And honestly, we'll just turn in these. We don't have any gilded yet, which is a little concerning. Dude, are you serious right now? I hate that they chase. I really do. I'd like to finish these rip pages so I can just ignore these the rest of the game. We should be really close on our challenge. Let's do a quick check on the challenge. One off. I didn't know I canceled the thing. Nice. Oh my. Okay, there's a bounty complete. Oh, I got so many pages. Oh my god. Okay, we're done there. Now I just really need to lock in and find these gilded. I'm just gonna look for a good room. Like, we get a wild ass room, we're good. But uh, ornates we don't really need, which sucks. The guild is being really unkind to us right now, but... Oh, that's so good. Okay, coin piles, this is big. I don't know if this bonus right here applies to coin piles. Or, sorry, applies to scavenger items. All right, well, we got our thing. I'm just gonna mine this because we're here. You always need more coinage. Dude, so many ornates, man. Dude. The ornates are popping, but I, I don't need them. I can't believe how many ornates we've seen. Like, it's actually mind-blowing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn in my last of these. I see more ornates right there. Truly really unfathomable right now. More ornates down here. What the? Crazy, man. Coin piles, we don't need those. What are they? What's in here? Livings, we don't need those. It sucks, it really does suck. I love completing the objectives, so sometimes I pass up on good loot. All right, is this coin piles? This is coin piles, isn't it? Yep. Come on, man, gilded. One bit of gilded, that's all. Dude! <laughs> coin piles, gilded right around this corner. Oh my God, more living, dude. I should be running rooms to find like a wild west, because they're not that uncommon. At least it's not RNG really in a wild west room. All right, let's just take a look up here. We might be able to snag some. Oh my God. Living, gilded. All right, here we go. Nothing, there's gonna be one more here. Nothing. Coin piles. Coin piles. It's getting ridiculous, folks. Ideally, like, if I know I couldn't complete it, I would have given up and just started mining everything and searching chests, but I know I can complete it. I just need a little bit of luck. I'm getting super lucky with, like, coin piles and ornates, especially ornates. Like, the amount of ornates, I mean, like, it's crazy. Crazy amount of ornates going on right now. All right, going down below. All right, what's down here? That is ornates again. Yep, ornates again. This is coin piles back there. Coin piles there. Are you stupid? We'll take that though. Ornates, like, <laughs> okay, now I'm actually starting to get pissed off. Living. <gasps> Here we go. They shouldn't fall on my head, I don't think they...
Alright guys, I really... Oh my god. Yes, well, there's one. Come on, be nice to me. Oh my god, we just found earrings, the rarest possible thing in the entire scavenger hunt. Wonderful. And boom. We just found it. <laughs> Game's strolling. Game's strolling. Two earrings. We have one out of our two though. So is it that bad? I don't know. Let's keep it moving. Come on. Easy room to identify things. Easy enough to just honestly jump down here. Living. We're gonna keep moving here. Oh, here we go, here we go. Please, please, please. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my god. All right, well. Uh, I will turn in the one living. Yes, yeah, it, it is worth going down here. Just doing a quick pass through. Take a look in here. Ornates. Nothing. Get out of here. Four minutes. We have to be... Yeah, we. I think we're on the back side of the portal, so I gotta keep that in mind. Where I need to be is, in fact, up here. Nothing. 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 Coin. Oh, guilty, guilty, guilty. Got it. That's what we're talking about, baby. We have three minutes. I don't think we're gonna get good loot. Yeah, I'm gonna drop down on this. Oh, we did get it. Wow. Oh, baby. Now we're just farming soul shards. I basically am just looking for a room now that has a turn in. It shouldn't be too hard. Oh my god, three earrings. I've literally never found that in one game. Dude, just come on. And there's another one for the road. Alright, so I don't see a turn. In oh, there is one. There's one, one right up there. Perfect. So we can actually loot this room if we want. Uh, I'm going to, because why not? Got one minute, so uh, I'm going to just get up there to avoid any complete and utter disaster. There's probably a chest up there too, so. Uh, let's loot these while we're here. Do a little of that. Do a little of that. Do a little of that. Uh, is there any other easy thing? I think I'm just gonna turn in. Um, there's our scroll. Beautiful, man. We have really good soul shard value too, which is nice, bumping up the soul shards. 10K, pretty awesome. 5k for the objective. Let's take a look at this breakdown here. I, I need to see this. So I hit a uh, 69 wooden chest. I only hit two livings because I just, I couldn't. 13 gildeds if you subtract the ones at the end, which was I think three gildeds. So we hit 10 gildeds and got our two scrolls, which is not too bad. Or 13 gildeds and got three scrolls, I guess. Yeah, the ornates I passed up on probably two dozen, I think. And I, I even hit 11 of them. I didn't even need them after my jars because jars are super easy to get. Pretty good, man. Now we get to load. This is my favorite. Honestly, even the failed vaults. So we got... This is another big little XP boost here. Um, even the failed vaults, though, I love the ending here where we get to just sit here and dump our stuff in here. It's just such a sick part. Three earrings, man. Three cracked pearls. Oh my god, it's so good. The item rarity is, I think... Did I get them while I was using iron, item rarity? I don't remember. Feels like it. Let's pop these. Take a look at what we get. Horrible and good attack, but scrappy. I'd never use a scrappy, so. Let's see what uh see what's in here. Oh! Let's go, dude. That's actually I think our third one is a team. I have no, that's my third. I think we have like five or something now. Oh my god, wait, why is that loot so crazy? Okay, maybe I should have turned in a little earlier. Shit. What do we get here? Those are beautiful. Oh my god. Those are almost exactly what I want. I want item rarity, but we can work for that at a later point. Uh, I can pop this as well. I don't think I have this one. It's the whole crew that makes the game. That's cool. Or plays the game. Oh, what is this? That is terrible. Oh yeah, let's see how much we got here. <sighs> Over three stacks? Is that... Did I do my math right? I did, right? Yeah. Three stacks and a little over. Damn, that was fun though. I'm so happy we completed that. It's hard to complete scabs on video because they're just really RNG a lot of the times. But at least you guys kind of saw my strategy. Okay, I actually decided to make all these uh, burgers. I had some lettuce. I had like 27 lettuce. 
Uh, and I think I will be able to hit 50 of these easily. So, figured, why not? <laughs> Boom. Look at that. This is an incredibly big milestone, not only because we get some better loot tables on things, but we get to finally pick our archetype. I don't know what I want to go with. Vampire seems cool, but it seems pretty underwhelming. I think healing through other means is easier. What that would mean is you have more mana for abilities that aren't heal, because um, heal does take a fair amount of mana. Barbarian seems like what I'm leaning towards because just, I mean, it just sounds sick. Like you get worse at healing, but you get stronger per hit. So that's cool. I, I don't really, I like ward, like I like the 25% block chance. I think that's sick. Um, but the minus 50% player damage, that might still be worth it. I don't, I don't like getting minuses on my damage, but Berserker is interesting. I just don't think minus 80% max health is a good idea. What I could do is make my gear completely uh, health-based, right? Somehow that would offset it a little bit, but I don't think that's worth it. And then Treasure Hunter, again, I'm leaning towards Treasure Hunter or Barbarian. Um, Treasure Hunter is just right up my alley. Like, that's just how I play the game a lot of the times. So I'm very good at looting very quickly, so I think I could maximize this one. But, man, the 100% damage taken could just flat out get you one hit by a lot of stuff, I think. Like elites especially, like you literally w would probably die instantly in one hit. But you could argue that the perks of especially Treasure Hunter, getting those items would offset your deaths, right? I think we get some more skills too. Oh uh, yeah, we can get another... Oh, do we get another... We have to get another strength level, surely, right? Oh, we can get a lot of stuff. I have nine points. Reach is going away, so I'll actually be refunded in version seven, I believe, for six points. I like getting, I, I might want to go into Fatal Strike too and just try to put that on my weapons. I don't know. There's so many options that I would like. These are not even bad calls either, but 10% is not enough to get me to do that right now. I'm going to pull the trigger on strength right now and upgrade. I still don't even know what crafting potential is, to be completely honest with you. It's never explained. Um, it's not like in here. This is proficiency. I always thought this was potential, but I don't know if it's like you can look at an item and see potential on it or something. Oh, crafting potential 115. Oh, I still don't know what that means though. Oh, server restart. That's time for me to go. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs> What's going on? Guys, welcome back to episode 50. I'm glad to have you here. Who's for you? <laughs> Anyways. Oh. oh, you got me grunked up. All right, well, I'm just going to sit in here. Honestly, shout out to Vayminer. Yeah. Oh, they got armor. Ooh, hold on. Well, apart from that cool maneuver with Mega Jump and the realization that at level 50, the enemies now have armor on, not much uh, to report. Business as usual, we got it done. You best believe that. Oh, yeah. Nice. Big. I mean, where would you be without the infinite water bucket? I don't know, dead probably. Yeah. Mushroom. Mushroom. I'm talking about baby. No matter how many times I do that little maneuver where I catch myself on the side of a wall, I will never get tired of it. I It's just one of my favorite maneuvers that you can do in Minecraft. It's one of those maneuvers that is actually not that difficult, but it looks far more difficult than it is. It's just so clean. Oh, also we found a mushroom room. I don't think this Omega room has ever been in this series. I believe we have found a couple, but it's a really rare room or it's rare for us. It's just full of living chests, like 20, 30 living chests or something like that. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorite rooms in the whole game. Other than that though, not much happened. Like is that? Yeah, I haven't gotten lucky with villages recently. Let's get it. Oh, and you got... What is this? This is just scary. I mean, yeah. Can I get a speed on main cam one? You can get my death on main cam one, holy shit. I don't know what it is. Is this a slime team? What is this? I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not going in those buildings. That's how things end. It really is. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna even open the door and get 
weird in there, you gotta do it quick. Oh, oh, yep. Yep, we're gonna wanna get the f out of here. Can you get, can you get, wait, wait, before you... Oh, I didn't even see the wizard, so, GG. Where'd you go? I need three of them. <laughs> How many do you need? Three? Yeah. I need two. Look at that. Look at that. Eight jars. <laughs> okay, let's just hit this. No, we can do it. Eight jars? Yeah, man. Wait, this is Enderman. This is Enderman. Oh, really? Where oh. are you at, man? Are you east from the gym? I'm east. Yeah, we used to stick together in this. There's coins over there. I'm flying over here. I see ornates right here. Look at the Enderman. You got hit oh, by it. Oh, no. What up, man? Yeah, he's behind you. I got hit by it. I'm just hanging out up here. I'll be with you in a bit. Oh, they're just gonna, they're going in. They don't care. Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch to shield. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, God. I'm in the void liquid. Ultra instinct. I have four vials and need one more. Can they teleport? Yeah. Upward? Uh, looks like it. I got one of your jars. They absolutely can. Oh, that's like I a tier vial. two. I got my vial. I'm good, I'm good in coins. Oh, the enemy tier threes look insane. I'm gonna. What kind of. Is that a mimic? It's a mimic. If that guy touches me, I'm done. We need it, dude. We cannot fight the mimics. Do we just wanna go next room whenever that happens? Yeah, yeah, right now. Think about my damage. We cannot fight me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Is there any solution to this? Milk. That's fair. Oh, one. There's one. I did take it. Uh, that's, that's all three then. If you, uh, do some over. Oh, for you, yeah. There we go. Okay, now I just need, uh... Jars? Seven jar, three hide. I like the metal sound. I found livings up here, but I'm getting swarmed. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> oh my god. These guys are psychotic. I'm running. <laughs> Get one. Come, come east. Go east. Go east. No, there's ornates up there. You need this. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I jumped over you got the a shower. <laughs> go for the spawner. I'm ghost walk. Oh, this is the mine room. Do you need him? I don't know the drown hide. Okay. Oh, I got my drown hides. We just need the big, uh, big room. Wait, wait, our time's accelerating. Oh my god. That? Yeah. Uh, let's just leave. <laughs> yeah. That. I was wondering why there was so little time a couple rooms yeah. back. There's like nine minutes. I'm like, see, this one really, really fast. Yeah, I'm going to what I think is the portal room. Oh my god, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, leave, leave, leave. Your it's, gods. I'm running over that and it still counts. Oh, Jesus. I'm not like falling into that puddle. Oh, that's so bad. I had no idea that's how it worked. It's like a minute. I'm glad we figured this out. Yeah, me too, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a jar. <laughs> yeah, that's I crazy. Wow.